And today I'm going to go over the clone stamp tool. It can be pretty useful when you want to bring pixels from one area of the canvas to another. And it uses the brush, so you can have a hard edge brush, a soft edge brush. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, click on the clone stamp tool on the toolbar. And if you click the down arrow up on the options bar, and you can choose a soft edge brush usually. Want a nice soft edge to it so it's not as noticeable if you have some kind of textured area here and you want to clone stamp something. Uh, there's some brush settings, um, some modes that are basically the, the layer blending mode, so it will affect how it applies the pixels into the destination area. The opacity is just how transparent the effect is. And then there's some pressure settings. Uh, and then also flow, 100% down to zero. That's the same thing with the brush tool. Now, and there's airbrush, well, it'll have buildup effects if you have that checked. One important thing to look at is sampling current layer. That by default, I would keep that on sample on the current layer, unless there's some reason you want to sample all the various layers below the top layer, the layer that you're on. Otherwise, keep it on current layer. What that means is when you sample or set the source area, you're only sampling from the current layer that you're on, that you have highlighted in the layers panel. Right now, it's your JPEG, so we just have one layer anyway, a background layer. But that one is good to be familiar with. And then also aligned, uh, by default, I would keep that checked because what that is, I'm going to show you the difference here. So to start your source area, hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and you notice it changes the cursor here, a little bit smaller circle. You just click and let go. And now when you hover over here, it's telling me what it's going to bring in. It's going to basically bring in these pixels right where we alt clicked or option clicked. And if I bring them here, it's always going to be level this amount of pixels away from it. If I bring it up here, it'll be at that angle. I'll show you what I mean. If I click and drag, now I'm bringing in these pixels. Looks pretty seamless because it has a similar background. A little bit darker here though. You notice as I clicked and dragged right over here, you saw a little kind of a cross icon. And if I go back over here, you can see it over there. It's telling me where it's picking pixels up. So I clicked and let go, clicked and let go. It is all aligned with the original. So if I alt click right here, then alt click or just click over here, it's always going to be at that specific angle from where we first clicked. So if you alt click or option click here and click up here, say it's 400 pixels up and 400 pixels over to the right, it's always going to be at that angle. Now if I uncheck aligned, I'm going to alt or option click here. All right, so I'll just start right here. Then I'll let go and then I'll click again and now it's messed up a little bit. You notice that? And I'll click over here. It's resetting, pulling from the same exact area. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you had a photo where you wanted to clone a bunch of stuff or duplicate a bunch of stuff from one area onto a couple of different areas on the canvas, then you would uncheck aligned. By default, I have it aligned. I'm just going to move back a little bit here because usually we're wanting to keep it aligned from the original. You notice right here, it's a little bit darker around the pole. That's because the sand over here is a little bit darker than over here. So if I alt click over here, click and drag, alt click here. So the key is to sample often, otherwise you'll get repeating patterns. So we can add different elements, move different elements with the clone stamp tool. It's a pretty fun tool to experiment with. One shortcut to consider if you hold control on the PC or command on the Mac, it does turn into the move tool. It won't move this because we have a locked background layer, but that can be helpful if you don't want to just click the move tool up there. It's a shortcut, but again, alt click to set the source and then just click and drag to set the destination. So that's the clone stamp tool. Thanks.